Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amir Al Khair and in this video I'm going to tell you about the Emory test, the test needed to get a residency spot in UAP. Now when I decided to do this test, I only had two weeks to prepare for it, but I gave it my best and, and thankfully I passed it. So in this video I'm going to tell you about my personal experience, how I prepared for the test, and I will give you a general idea about the test. Okay, let's get into it. First thing you need to know about the test is that it is computer-based, it's, no, it's not on papers. Second thing that the test is 120 questions. It is only pick the correct one, multiple choice questions. You have to pick the, the right answer. The good part is that you don't lose marks if you pick the wrong one. The time for the test is three hours. Don't worry, it is more than enough to answer 120 questions. Most of the questions are general ideas about medicine. The topics included are about internal medicine, pediatrics, surgery, uh, obstetrics and gynecology, public health, psychiatry, and community medicine, medicine, etc. Now, most of the time, the questions are divided equally among these fields, but sometimes the internal medicine gets the biggest share and psychiatry and, com and community medicine get, get the lowest share. How did I prepare for the test? From my own experience, when I was preparing for the test, I only had two weeks, as I said before. So what I did is that I asked all my friends, all the people I know who had done this test before, how did the, what were the questions they were asked? What were the subjects they were asked about? And I collected the ideas of, let's say, the most frequent subject asked upon, the most frequent questions, and I pre prepared for them, but I did it thoroughly, with very, being very careful. And at the end, I, dis I discovered that it is the same topics, the same ideas going over and over again. Surprisingly, the, the topics needed for the test, you can find them on their web page in their blueprint. But I didn't know this when I was preparing for the test. When I was preparing as well, I discovered something. Sometimes the question can be very long and mostly it is clinical questions. All of the questions are clinical cases based on a scenario. They would give you a scenario and in the end you will have a, a question like what is the next best step in management? What is the next best step of investigation? What would you do? Or what is the diagnosis? Uh, the question, like I said, because it is clinical cases, so sometimes it can be a very long story. And when you're doing the test, if you want to read the question thoroughly and go through it over and over to comprehend it very well, it will be time wasting. What I did, I used to read the last sentence of the question where it has the, really the, the question, where the question is like, what is the treatment? What is the investigation, etc. And then I would, just, I would start reading the question from the beginning. Because sometimes you can find the answer from the first line. Sometimes even from the first sentence, they can be that easy. What I'm trying to say is that you don't have to worry. When I was preparing, because I didn't have much time, I was worried a lot. Eventually, I, I discovered that any med, med student can solve these questions. They are easy, they are very logical, they are about the most common topics you can find in your everyday life. The tests are conducted in December, January, February, and March. They have set the date, I think, before six months or something like that. And you also get February and March to enroll for the tests. Don't worry about it. They give you like 30 days to enroll. And I think that should be enough for today. If you have any more questions or any questions at all, please go to the comment section, put them, and I would be happy to help you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay safe.